Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. In this one we're going to be catching Skrelp. Uh, now Skrelp uh, spawns pretty much anywhere at sea on the Isle of Armour, as you can see, uh, in any weather condition. Uh, one of the things to note though is that Skrelp is opposed to Clauncha uh, between Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. So Skrelp is a Pokemon Shield exclusive uh, if you have the expansion pass, uh, and so you will need to trade if you want to get... Um, so if, if you have Pokemon Sword, you'll need to trade for this. Obviously, if you want to get Clonch, you'll need to trade this for that. Um, obviously, they're both caught in exactly the same way. Uh, if you guys need to find a place to trade or you don't have anybody to trade with, uh, we do have a trade chat in our Discord server down below. Uh, please make sure you post your trades in the right in the right channel. Otherwise, the moderators might get mad at you. Um, so a couple of things that I can just give to you guys as tips for this. Uh, firstly, uh, I'm going to go ahead and catch the one that I've just found so that you guys can see that it's here. Uh, but a couple of things, obviously we're going to be, we're going to be getting uh, chased by Sharpedos, just make sure you're in a position where you can block them. Um, I'll show you this in a bit, in a second once we've, once we've gone through this encounter. If it doesn't get caught, we're just going to run, because there's no there's no requirement for me to, to catch this again. Oh, I've got a crit call, lovely. Swaps that out for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, so of course you can bring along a uh, grass or a electric type, that's going to... Uh, obviously if you do get get in encounters with the Sharpedo, then uh, that'll just help you out. What I find pretty good is to just kind of come around something like this, because usually they'll, they'll stop chasing you, and if you can get them to hit into something, um, then they kind of just disappear. Obviously, we could just run on and off the ground, right, whenever we need to, which is kind of handy. Uh, it seems like these things only really spawn if you're not sprinting. I don't know if they have some kind of, like, run-away mechanic. Um... But yeah, the, uh, the Honeycomb Island seems like a pretty good place just, to, just for fishing in general. So hopefully that helps you guys out, just in avoiding the uh, the Sharpedos a little bit uh, as you're hunting for your Pokemon. And um, if this has helped you out, I will hopefully see you around in the next video. Until then, have a good one.